Hey guys, it's Matt Latham, the Maniac Matt. Don't really know what I'm getting into here. Um, I was just at the little Hispanic shop there in uh, my little hometown of Marshville. And I come across these things. Mama Leach's Nance in syrup. It's some kind of fruit that's supposed to be real citrusy or acidic. I don't know. <clears throat> it's something other than a hot sauce or something. I figured I'd give it a try. Like I said, we got that guy there. Uh, but other than that, uh, we did find out that uh, my better half, she's got the better surgery of the two that we were looking at. She doesn't have to have a knee replacement. She gets to do the uh, knee reconstruction which is a lot less downtime and everything else, so that's a plus. But, uh, <clears throat> and I've lo I lost my uh, camera that I used, so I finally found it. It's been like three days, I think. Been going through withdrawals on videos anyway. But, uh, like I said, we're going to try Nance. It is... Let's read the ingredients. It says Nance, water, sugar, citric acid, sodium, benzo, white, or something like that. And that's about it. And eating suggestions. Rich in vitamin C and great ingredients for fresh fruit salads. Great for preparing and refreshing tropical ice cream or popsicles. I'm not 100% sure you're supposed to eat one of these things whole. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot and just see what they see what they do here. Hopefully, I, hopefully I can open it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of eat. Ooh. they smell wonderful. I've never heard of a Nance. I actually think I have a tree out here that makes them though, but I've never heard of one. Yeah, they smell wonderful. Hopefully they taste wonderful. Looks a little on the odd side. It looks like it's got hairs coming out the other end of it. They're pretty squishy. Like I said, it's some kind of citrus or citrus fruit. Can't talk. We're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully it's not terrible. It says it when I googled it, it was uh, very citrusy or almost acidic, which is pretty much the same thing. But we'll uh, see what they taste like like this. Wish me luck. Here we go. It's not horrible. It's not good. It's got a, all the seeds and everything, like a seed pod in the middle of it. Ugh. Let me try one more. It doesn't taste like an orange or anything like that. Oh, man. I don't know what it tastes like, to be honest with you. I, I can, I've got it on the tip of my tongue, but I'm going to have to eat another one. It's got a rough, hard center to it. Not very good. I think it takes more of the syrup than anything in it. Ugh. Man. Yeah, 
poor little lady up there, and she told me that these were good. So they're not horrible, but they're not great. I couldn't see eating these in ice cream or a popsicle. It's just yeah. Apparently, you're not supposed to eat these whole because there's like a rock solid seed pod in the middle of them, but the rest of it just crush off around it. So I'm gonna try one more thing. See if I can jazz it up. I got my little fruity sauce here. It's from Andrew's Pepper Patch. It's called Chernobyl Pineapple Hot Sauce. It's got Jamaican pepper, cayenne pepper, pico de gallo pepper, Carolina reaper pepper, carrot, onion, pineapple, honey, salt, sugar, and vinegar. <clears throat> We've got a pretty decent little label there for that one. <sighs> That's Keith Nichols that makes this one. I've had this before. It's actually a pretty good sauce. I've got a couple little jars of it. I'm gonna try to just jazz it up a little bit, and give it some flavor. It's just, it's got like almost a bitter taste, but it's a real, I don't know, it's not very good. Oh yeah, I got my Chase the Heat spoon, sorry. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try this little guy here. See if it helps it out any or not. Put him on there. And give it a little bit of pineapple Chernobyl on top to see what happens. This stuff's good on ice cream. This other thing's supposed to be good with ice cream according to the jug. Maybe this will make it a little better. stick with the hot sauce and get rid of these critters. They're no good. Not for me. I said, I don't think you're supposed to eat them whole. But we got the Chernobyl. It's amazing. A lot of pineapple flavor to it. I mean, it's great. You know, the sad thing is I haven't even tasted ours from uh, work. I don't think I've ever tasted it. I'm gonna have to try that. <clears throat> That's definitely good sauce though. It helped for a second with the Nance things. But uh Yeah, that's got just enough bite to keep you interested and it's a real sweet sauce. I like that one a lot. Like I said, I bought a couple uh bottles from him after he sent me a taste sample. Alright guys, that being said, I apologize again for the uh, no videos for three days, but like I said, I lost my phone. Ended up, I had kicked it, I had fell off the table and I had kicked it up under the couch. But I found it, so we're back on track now. And uh, I think tomorrow I'm gonna try to do the uh, egg of anguish that uh, Keith Nichols sent me from Andrew's Pepper Patch. I'm going to give it a shot and see what that guy's all about, too. I hope all you guys and gals had a good day. If you had anything crazy happen or remarkable, hit me up and let me know. Pretty laid back today. I did try the uh, solar flare sunflower seeds. I've had the ones and the twos before, but I tried the uh, fours and the fives today, and those things are good but they are extremely hot should be bagging some of them guys up and boxing them up tomorrow hopefully don't let me get ahead of myself if I'm wrong but <clears throat> yeah I mean that's in the works so they should be popping out pretty quick uh, I said hope all you guys and gals have a good night I thank you for all the ones that subscribed uh, like comment me and Better Half will always get back in touch. We love talking to all of you guys and gals. Uh, 
With that being said, oh, if you're not a subscriber, just go ahead and click the button. We do some pretty decent things on here. I try to bring in a little spice and uh, my better half every once in a while. And uh, hopefully she'll come out tomorrow and eat an egg with me or something. We got a couple of them, so we'll go from there. But uh, I said I love each and every one of you. It's the Maniacal Matt. Thanks for all the support. I am out of here.